is ABC 7 at 5. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us on ABC 7 at 5. I'm Estela Casas. Las Cruces police identify the alleged gunman shot and killed by officers after an hours long standoff yesterday. Officials say, say he is 29 year old Jose Salas. Police say it all started with a fight in the 4100 block of La Fonda Drive near the Mesilla Valley Moor, 1400. Salas allegedly drove away in a stolen truck, leading to a standoff in a storm drain near the Munson Senior Center. Once near the Munson Center, police say Salas ran into a drainage ditch and stayed holed up in the tunnels for more than two hours. Officers say Salas came out holding a gun and three officers opened fire. A spokesman tells ABC7 that three are on administrative leave. They will not be identified until the officer involved shooting task force completes its investigation. We don't know yet how many times Salas was struck by bullets. Five years probation and a $2,000 fine. New at five. ABC7 has learned a judge handed down that punishment for Sally Mena Barraza, the sister of former state district judge Manny Barraza. Earlier this year, a jury found Sally Mena Barraza guilty of conspiracy to launder money. The judge sentenced her Thursday. DEA agents arrested her last year during an operation meant to dismantle a drug ring with ties to the Juarez drug cartel. However, the jury found her not guilty on a drug distribution charge. A jury convicted her brother for taking sex and money in exchange for favorable rulings. Sally Mena Barraza is appealing her sentence. To storm track weather now, here's a live look outside courtesy of the exclusive ABC7 Mountain Cam. We have lifted our first alert, but it's still going to be very cold tonight. You might want to take out some extra blankets and make sure you bundle up the kids if you plan to go out early tomorrow morning. Storm tracker Nicole Gomez joins us now with your first forecast. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Estella. It will be a cold night and even colder start to your morning, so be prepared if you're heading out early in the morning. But let's take a look at the 24-hour temperature difference, minus 17 degree difference between our high today and yesterday's high, minus 13 in Las Cruces, minus 20 in Ruidoso, minus 18 in Tier C. Now, currently across the region, our daytime, or lows, I should say, we're in the 40s today, and our highs aren't much warmer for El Paso. We're at 48 degrees right now, 45 Las Cruces, 30 Ruidoso, and 44 out in TRC. Now, our future trip future temperature model will show you that again we'll see very cold temperatures tomorrow morning. So coming up in your full forecast I'll let you know if the cool weather will stick around or if we're spec expecting a warm, a warm up on Christmas. Estella? Okay, Nicole, thank you. So what's on your holiday wish list? Maybe the latest computer gadget or some clothes, but how about a bar of soap? That's what one El Paso man has on the top of his list. ABC 7's Maria Garcia is live with this story you'll see only on ABC 7. Maria. Hi, Estella. I met a man today who had been homeless for more than 10 years. He's also admittedly had alcohol and substance abuse problems for the last decade. But he's now living in a housing authority complex meant to help people like him get back on their feet. Now, Javier Carrillo lives in this housing authority complex where emergency health network workers visit residents and provide free psychological help. He also gets free rent. He has no income because of his mental health issues, and he's admittedly still struggling with substance abuse. We noticed a beer can outside his unit. Carrillo acknowledges he no longer struggles the way he did when he was homeless for over 10 years, but he says he still can't afford soap for himself or for his laundry or toilet paper. He admitted to me he lives day by day, sometimes stealing toilet paper from businesses. Carrillo says he's ashamed to go near his grandkids when they visit, and he just wants to be clean. No words. Sick of grandkids. Oh, I'm stinking. said, I have six grandkids. I hug them stinking. Sometimes housing authority or emergence workers pitch in to take toiletries to some of the residents, but it's not really the agency's responsibility. I spoke with an emergence spokesman who said Carrillo can bring up his toiletry needs to his caseworker, and that person will refer him to a social service agency where he can probably get what he needs. The spokesman said they're going to check on Carrillo's needs. Back to you, Estella. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get him some help as well. Maria, thank you. The holiday cheer is all around us, but for some families, the holidays are a difficult time, especially if you've lost a loved one. 
when El Paso woman opens up tonight about how she deals with the holidays without her son. ABC 7's Denise Olivas is live with the story you'll see only on ABC 7. Denise. Estela Terry Gallardo lost her son seven years ago in a car crash. She tells me the pain will never go away, but it's a local support group that has helped her get by every Christmas. Uh, Gallardo's son, Michael, was an Eastwood High School graduate and went on to become an assistant band director in Dallas. He was killed days before Thanksgiving in 2007, and the holidays have never been the same for his mother. Gallardo now leads the El Paso chapter of Compassionate Friends, a support group that has been around for 30 years. She says it's been her lifeline, and seven years later, she's still learning to get through the holidays without her son. But thanks to Compassionate Friends, every year it gets a little easier. Traditions are difficult when you're missing that loved one. We try to keep the same tradition, but we have, we have become, um, I guess, sensitive that uh, it's not the same. And it's taken us seven years to realize it will never be the same, and it's not going to be the same. But it can still be good. Coming up on ABC 7 at 6, Gallardo offers more of what she's learned through the support group. And if you've lost a child or know someone that has, Compassionate Friends is ready to help. We'll have that information for you also at 6. Estella, back to you. There is always help out there. Denise, thank you very much. AAA predicts more than 8 million Texans will travel this week. There's good news. Gasoline prices continue to fall. Retail prices dropped 16 cents this week in Texas, yet settling at $2.15 per gallon. According to AAA, the national average is $2.38 per gallon. Here in West El Paso, we saw gas prices today slightly above $2 a gallon. Drivers in Corpus Christi have the most expensive gasoline in Texas at $2.27 per gallon. The cheapest gasoline in the Lone Star State was in Fort Worth at $1.98 per gallon. It's Sun Bowl week in El Paso where tens of thousands of football fans are eagerly anticipating Saturday's big game. So far El Paso has uh, showed us a lot of great hospitality. Well, yeah. Today we get our first look at the Duke Blue Devils practicing plus. Both Sun Bowl teams now here in El Paso. I'm Andrew J. Polk, where you're here for ASU's arrival, and we'll have more from the coach and players. Well, temperatures across the borderland today much cooler than yesterday. Expect another cool day tomorrow. Will we warm up on Christmas, or are we expecting cooler temperatures? I'll have an answer in your full storm track weather forecast. This is ABC 7 at 5, where news comes first.